In this problem, we want to look at estimation in a word problem. Determine an estimate for the following using rounding to make the resulting calculations simple. For spring break vacation, a student needs to spend $47 for gas, $311 for food, and $405 for a hotel room. If the student takes $681.79 from savings, estimate how much more money is needed for the vacation. Well, let's write down each individual value. We have that our gas is $47. We want to estimate by using rounding, so therefore we want to make the calculation simple. I'm going to round $47 up to $50. We have our food, which will be $311. I'm going to round that down to $300. And we have a hotel room for $405, which can be rounded to $400. So first of all, let's just see that our estimate for the amount of money that would be needed would be $50 plus $300 plus $400, that is $750 needed. Now, the student takes this amount from savings, and we want to estimate how much more money is needed for the vacation. Well, one thing that you may want to do is think about, well, you know, what if I round this to the nearest 100 or to the nearest 50? Then I would notice I could round that up to $700. That would give me $750 needed minus $700, which would say that perhaps I only need $50. The problem with that is that we ended up taking this amount out, and we're trying to figure out how much more we need, and we round it up. Sometimes what might be needed is to round down instead. And what I mean by that is that because this is the amount we have to use, Perhaps we don't want to round it up to try to figure out how much extra is needed. Instead, even though it is closer to 700, we might want to say 650 here because somewhere in between these values is going to be the exact amount of money that the student will actually need. So both estimates give us an idea of coming up with an extra 50 to $100 in order to be able to pay for his trip.